1990s, female sports are not uncommon. The majority of high schools offer competitive sports for both boys and girls. Due to the recent enforcement of Title IX, girls are now able to receive full athletic scholarships to universities. Although women's teams are emerging on a national scale, past women's athletic teams were much smaller. The building of female sports has been a slow and challenging process. Title IX requires educational institutions to provide benefits both to men and women without discriminating against persons of either sex. We're in the 26th year when girls tennis, volleyball, and softball. 25 years in volleyball, 23 years in track, and probably cross country. That's in girls teams, interscholastic. And as I was recovering from knee surgery, um, I thought a lot about why Grant didn't have a girls team. And I thought about all my friends who I had at Grant, who I had played soccer with all the way along since I was a little kid. And I, I started counting and I was like, yeah, well, Molly's here and, you know, she's here and, you know, this girl's here and this girl and Annie's here. And I, I started thinking of all the names I knew and all of a sudden there were about, you know, 30 girls. And I was like, well, this is more than enough to have a team. Uh, actually, eight years ago, I, I was the first coach uh, for the girls' soccer team here at Grant. What was that like? It was wonderful. It was a good experience. And the first year, we made it into city finals. I think it's like any sports team, you know, the, the biggest, the people who are most involved are the, the team and the parents. It's not, we had cheerleaders, though, come out to our game, especially the second year. That was surprising. But um, I don't, I think that they were pretty positive in general. In the 1990s, female athletics served many purposes. Some female athletes play to become Olympians. Others play because they want to get involved and stay off the streets. All female athletes have one thing in common. They play because they believe in themselves and because they love sports. Being athletic and being involved in physical exercise is like one of the most important things to me. Um, in my own life, it's something that relaxes me. I think it's really important to be in good physical condition. It's fun to be outdoors with people. Um, I don't play soccer uh, anymore. Partly because I don't think that, I haven't found a women's team that I enjoy playing with as an adult. Individual sports as tennis and swimming, uh, such as soccer, uh, most of the girls played on the boys' teams if they felt they were good enough. And that, then the formation of the girls' team began from that. We've had girls to play football on football teams because no football teams are available for girls. We've had some girls play baseball. When the school doesn't have softball, they can play baseball if they're good enough to make the team. Um, volleyball. And I think that's why the formation of the girls' team began. And I uh, brought it to the principal, and I said, look, here are the names and numbers of all these girls who would be on the team. Why don't we have a girls' soccer team? He's like, well, there's no coach, and there's no money, and we already have so many teams. And um, basically, I then had the girls, I think what we did is my folks called up, and I think some of their parents called up the school, and... Um, I was kind of friends with the principal because I was on the debate team so he knew me and stuff and eventually we kind of like cheesed it up so that we finally got like some sort of a team and then we got a, we got a coach from some place and pretty soon he had worked with Burger King so that we had some uniforms and then we got. The response from the students was positive. Uh, they thought that uh, girls will, will, uh, will, will bring about uh, a different look into athletics was very positive and uh, there was always a crowd to see girls play. Um, actually, the most supportive people of all were the boys soccer team. The boys soccer team would come over and they would cheer, you know, huge for our games. They were, the, they were really big fans and um, the girls would get excited when they'd come out there and they, I think they were the biggest fans. Um, other students I think it's like any sports team, you know, the, the biggest, the people who are most involved are the, the team and the parents.
sports will always be a huge part of my life. I can't imagine, you know, not being involved in some kind of athletic activity. I would like to see a co-ed team someday of competition in which you have a team of girls and boys on one side going against the same on the other side. I think it will be very unique. Bye.